the leaders of Niger, Burkina Faso and Mali must be celebrating at this moment right now because they definitely came out of this victorious and in the process taught us that we are stronger together, we have a voice together and we can protect one another and unite. That's exactly what they did and they're leading by example. Respect to this three leaders because after they faced all that discrimination and sanction and mistreatment, they still managed to come on top of this because if you remember, ECOWAS suspended these three nations. ECOWAS was basically threatening to invade Niger and ECOWAS was showing up as a puppet to the foreign nations that allegedly control it. So a lot of Africans were offended with how these nations were treated. But guess what these three nations didn't do? They didn't sit and cry about it. They didn't just play the victim. They stood up. They came together. First of all, they came together. They united. They created an alliance. They are currently talking about having the same currency. And they also signed a deal that says that they will protect one another, which is beautiful, right? But lastly, what they did and what no one expected them to do was to announce that they are leaving the ECOWAS. Instead of the ECOWAS threatening them that they are going to do this and that to them, they came and told them, okay, fine, we are leaving, but we're leaving as one. We're leaving together. The military juntas in West African nations, Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger jointly announced their immediate withdrawal from the economic community of West African states on Sunday. The junta has accused the regional economic bloc of imposing inhumane sanctions aimed at reversing recent coups in their respective countries. The joint statement broadcast on state television in all three nations asserted that the decision to withdraw was made in complete sovereignty, alleging that ECOWAS had deviated from the ideals of its founding fathers and pan-Africanism after nearly 50 years of existence. The junta has contended that ECOWAS, influenced by foreign powers, had become a threat to its member states and their populations. After they announced that, guess what happened? ECOWAS all of a sudden started begging them. They don't want this three nations to leave because what is going to be the future of ECOWAS without three countries, right? So it is going to be a huge blow. So they don't want that to happen and they didn't expect that to happen. The only reason why these three nations were successful is because they came together as one to voice their opinion and to make their decision. So it made it more powerful. Their move was more powerful if just one country decided to leave they wouldn't have reacted this way. ECOWAS wouldn't have reacted the same way. The Nigerian president wouldn't have reacted the same way. Bola Tinubu just announced that he is lifting the restrictions he has put on Niger. If you remember, they cut off electricity that was coming from Nigeria, which saddened so many people, not just Nigerians, but also Nigerians. Niger and Nigeria are neighboring countries. There are family members that are living in Nigeria and the others in Niger. They're connected by blood. These are the same people, basically, right? It's just the border that is separating them. So this hurts so many people, not to mention Africans as a whole. It was so hard for us to see this news coming out of Nigeria because it is definitely going to impact Niger because they depended on Nigeria for their electricity. And it seems like the Nigerian government couldn't care less what it's going to do to the people of Niger as long as they made a point. Nigeria has cut supply of electricity to Niger over the coup. According to Africa News, Nigerian electricity company in line with the sanctions decided by the West African neighbors of Niger have cut electricity supply to Niger. They said, quote, Nigeria disconnected since yesterday the high voltage line that carries electricity to Niger. This is going to affect Nigerians tremendously. By cutting their electricity, they are making them vulnerable. And at the end of the day, the people of Niger, 
don't deserve this if you have an issue with the military leaders you can have a conversation about it you can send your delegates you can do so many things before putting on sanctions on your own neighboring countries this is not something that a neighboring country like nigeria should do to niger they have to be mindful of the people that they are hurting but just after eight months of this decision made by the nigerian president now he's taking it back he's reversing basically and taking away the restrictions which shouldn't happen shouldn't have happened in the first place because it was just not fair it was not fair at all how do you disagree with a neighboring country and just cut off their electricity and this is african countries this is your brothers and sisters it was just a sinister move but we're glad that now it's lifted but don't forget the reason why this is happening is because Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso came together and showed the world and Africa that this could be done. And now people and governments are realizing that they should respect them and they should deal with them with caution because these three are not to be messed with. Well done. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I'm Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you.